Okay, great. So simply, uh, full combo is. Uh, do I call it an app? <laughs> How do I call it? You can uh, do a couple of DeFi uh, projects here. I have an example uh, on the screen right now. But just to start it off, I think I should uh, clear this. Uh, so basically, you can uh, do flash loans. You can uh, try and uh, do like, um, what is it, uh, like a long-term staking by maybe going on uh, some of these cubes here. So uh, the beginner guide tells us that uh, how to connect the first time uh, user. Uh, you connect your wallet. I'm sure a lot of you know how to do this. Once it's connected, you come and uh, click on the cross here to give you all this uh, DeFi protocols. Eh? So uh, let's talk about flash loan that was uh, introduced by Alvi and I think uh, DYDX. Um, it has become the most popular thing to uh, work with here on uh, Puru Combo, as you, you can see from the discussions in the Discord and the, the rest of the groups. So if you're taking a flash loan, after having connected your wallet. So so uh, let me interrupt you, Martin, there. Sure. So maybe you can explain for people who don't know what a flash loan is. What oh, is yeah. It? Yeah, so um, a flash loan, let me get this information right. A flash loan is, uh, Simply put, is you borrow uh, an, an amount, say, let's borrow like a uh, thousand Ethereum, and then you trade the Ethereum that you borrowed uh, using maybe different protocols. Uh, you can go to um, what, like, uh, you can swap it up here at one inch or uni, Uniswap. As soon as uh, just if you, you do borrow that flash loan and it becomes successful, you are able to keep the profit. So you borrow an amount, make a trade, make a profit, and then what you make on top, you, you, it's yours to keep. Then you repay back the flash loan. So uh, I don't know, was that clear, David? Yes. And the rest it, of the guys. Uh, yeah, I hope it's clear for uh, for uh, for. Uh, yes, Eugene. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I think Eugene wants to comment. Uh, I just wanna uh, right. yeah, I just wanna add is oh, yeah, sure, sure. you don't technically have to do any transaction with a flash loan. It's just that you're pretty much borrowing okay. Mm -hmm. I think I'll start from where like Ethereum is to are incomplete, meaning that a transaction from start to finish has to be completed. If anything goes wrong in between, everything is reversed to the previous state. So like if it was red, it has to do something and mix a few few things here and there and then it become green. If the mixing goes really bad, then it goes back to red. If it works well, it goes back to uh, green. So flash loans were introduced in that context in the sense you can borrow money within the same transaction as long as you pay back within the same transaction. So you can borrow even up to $5 million in the same transaction, do whatever you want to do with it, trade, exchange, arbitrage, whatever you want to do with the money, but as long as at the end of your transaction, you pay it back. So that's why it's called a flash loan. You only borrow for that specific transaction and pay back within that specific transaction. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's uh, clear to me as well. You've done a better job explaining. And, um, I like to add, there is no limit on how much you can borrow. I think the limit can only be set by where you're borrowing from. So if Ave doesn't have the amount of funds that you're trying to borrow, maybe that transaction will not go. Uh, to give you a good example, just to do it right now, you guys can follow me if you're seeing this. Uh, I borrowed a uh, thousand Ethereum. I swap it here for say, uh, come to this uh, protocol and uh, swap to Uniswap and uh, swap my Ethereum, all 1,000 Ethereum.
I want to swap it for maybe uni. Um, so, if, uh, so every time you swap, as you can see, it's really easy to work with. Get some uni here. So for 1,000 Ethereum, I'll get, uh, what, this is 4 million, oh no. So 1 million, uh, uh, this is ample. <clears throat> I'll get this amount of uni. I have to click on set. And then I swap it uh, in another protocol, like uh, one inch, where the prices might be different. So we'll get some uni. But I get Ethereum from the unit that I have now. See how much that will be. Figures have changed here. So this amount of uni should get me some amount of Ethereum. If it goes above the 1,000 Ethereum, so say it goes like 1,020 or even 1,000 point something, if it's more than 1,000.9, which is the fee that uh, Ave is asking for, for their flash loan, I should be in profit. And that money, once I click on send, will be sent to my MetaMask account. So I'm waiting for this. Maybe uh, one inch doesn't have this much uni. Let's try and get it somewhere else. Let's try cut. Kaiba, we're getting uni. So you see, this uh, transaction will fail because I'm not making back the 1000 Ethereum. I'm going at a loss. And you can see here on your, the left of your screen, eh? you showed initial, you showed the initial funds. This means if you have this amount in your MetaMask or the connected wallet and click approve, all this amount will be uh, taken out from your wallet as I can demonstrate here. But if you don't have enough of that, it tells you insufficient. You can see the right side, right top corner, insufficient ETH in your wallet. So if you do have this and you want to do this transaction, uh, I wouldn't advise that because it's a, you know, it's in a loss that you lose uh, more than you gain. You'll actually not gain anything. So you shouldn't do that. Um, but that's just a demonstration of how uh, this whole thing works. It's like uh, Legos, for you who you know, played with Legos. Uh, you construct these cubes and move them around to a point where you get a profit. Uh, some of them are very easy. They're done for you. You can just come and uh, maybe find uh, Somebody in the Twitter or the Discord has shared a flash loan or the, just a transaction on Furukombo, and that was successful and you know made them money. People do share these things, and uh, there's a share button here at the bottom, just below your just below your. Your approve button, you can see it, guys. Let's share. You can share on Twitter. You can share this whole transaction on Twitter, or you can share it uh, by copying a link and uh, sending it to maybe somebody else who might you know, need to do that uh, transaction. So people basically just uh, click on the share button and then come to their Discord and paste them here. I've seen most of them maybe in uh, combo hacking. When you visit all these other discussions, you probably find it's like a, the discussions for developers, support, you know, you can just go through the Discord and check out uh, you know, what is being talked about in there. They're very friendly guys. Send them an email, or, uh, a question on uh, the Discord, they answer you real quick. I think only on Twitter, I haven't seen them answer back, but uh, you get every, basically you get everything you need here on the Discord. Go and look for maybe a transaction that somebody has done and how easy it is to copy it. So you can see this guy is saying um, flash loan Ethereum, swap Ethereum for YUSD. 
on the YAN uh, protocol and uh, swap it back and get a profit. Let's see how much that will be. Uh, you see how I've clicked. I just clicked on this link. This is this could be like the link that we copied. <coughs> excuse me, uh, from uh, the flash uh, from the Furu Combo site. So. So this one might have been successful then when they did it, but the price looks to have changed. Look like looks like it has changed. You're able to tell this, and uh, you will not be able to penalize or get a loss or anything like that because just before the transaction goes through, if it if it's not profitable, it won't go through. And they also tell you upper uh, the price has changed. Uh, you see this uh, dollar sign here with the uh, what's this like an arrow around it. Uh, once you see that blinking as well, you realize that the price has changed. This happens because of uh, something called, I think, uh, front running or basically bots that uh, bots that are able to detect um, uh, an arbitrage opportunity before humans and uh, them being machines. Once they detect it, they will uh, transact the what well, they do the transaction. And the opportunity will be lost because uh, the tokens or whatever difference there was will come back to like the normal range. Somebody in finance can explain that better, maybe. So you see this blinking and uh, click on it, the price changes. It might change to your favor, it might not. But as you can see here, you're supposed to have an initial, fund, initial funds of 0 0.05 Ethereum, and this is how much you can see. Now this is 0 0.2 Ethereum. This is how much you receive after the price has changed. You can try and manipulate this because as you can see here, there's a huge difference here uh, by clicking on the pen. This is the edit and uh, of course delete. Uh, yeah, so try and uh, change this. Get that eight, nine, uh, and bring it close to the initial price. See how much YUSD, how much Y card you get from this. This should be more so. There's a huge price difference here, man. And uh, I don't think this will work. Yeah, as you can see, uh, this is gonna be a loss. I don't think this amount of Y card and YUSD would uh, come to this amount, you'd probably be at a loss. So um, <clears throat> combo hacking is a good uh, space to be in for this opportunity, because once somebody does a, a successful arbitrage trade or something like that, they'll share it here. If they're not selfish, and uh, you know, you can come across it and uh, make some money. <clears throat> I think the bottom line for all this DeFi and uh, all these things that we're doing on the crypto space is just to make money. So this, uh, maybe Eugene can help me. I think this is a huge opportunity for you if you're trying to like uh, either make a quick buck or you can try staking by entering a few different uh, protocols using a Furu Combo. Uh, so in essence, what Furu Combo does is it combines all this um, what can I call them? All these uh, DeFi tools and makes it as simple as again, like uh, you would do with um, uh, Legos to make money. So it's really, really easy when you see, when you, when you, when you do it like that, because uh, If you can borrow a million dollars worth of uh, tokens, do a transaction and pay it back and take the profit. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen anything like that in the world other than this. Even right now, getting a, a, a shawari or something like that, and the amount of uh, say what amount of interest that you pay, this space is 
really, really uh, good for making money, which I think for most people is uh, um, the bottom line.